Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at what I would consider two very rarely used options that are on the Excel insert menu. One's called Bing Maps and the other is People Graphs. And these are items that appear on Excel 2013 and later. So let's take a look and see how these work in Excel. So here I have two little tables. One has six locations, their sales by year and a total sales. And the second uh, little chart has just the total sales. And you'll see why I have these separated out. Now on the Insert tab uh, in Excel, you'll see in the Add-in section, Bing Maps and People Graph. And we're going to walk through these. Now again, I've really never used these in any of my presentations or work. But just kind of decided to take a look and see what they can do. I can't say I'm totally expert in them, but at least show you the basics that I've learned. And maybe it's something that can be useful to you. So first, we'll start with People Graph. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select that option. And this object pops up here. And it shows a very basic example of how this might look. It's various uh, amounts here and then it shows them using a person as the image um, to show the value and comparing those with a heading up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here and notice these two little options pop up. I'll do it again and I'll click here and I can change the title and in this case I'm going to title it sales by location. You can see it changing as I'm typing. And when I click on select your data, I'm going to go over to here to select that. And notice it tells me I've selected seven rows and two columns. And I'll hit create. And Excel now brings up the value of those uh, locations and an image, in this case, showing what uh, those would be. Now I'm going to have to expand this out a little more to get it to show in a uh, different type of format. If I lessened the width, notice it cuts it down to show these basically that each person represents 10 million. So you can see this is almost 20 million down to this is just shy of 10 million. But if I widen it out, I can see it now in a little broader sense. Now you can also notice it only shows down to Seattle so I have to uh, draw down the bottom to make sure that I get all the locations in there. There's very little modification that you can do to this. You can't change the font size. I can't change the font or the type uh, up in the heading here. It's very limited but at least it shows uh, a graphical way of presenting your data. Now you do have some settings that you can change. For example, there are three different types here. And as I scroll through them, you can see how it presents it. And there are a few different themes. And you can see as I choose different ones, it changes the style there. And you can also change the shape that is indicated in the graph. So in this case, these are dollars. So maybe I want to use money bags instead of people and that will show it that way. So this is an example how the people graph works in Excel. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now notice when I uh, click on it, it really doesn't select it as much. I have to go to the edge and click on it in order to be able to change the size. And if I click on the edge, notice it turns into a cross uh, uh, with arrowheads that I can take and move it like any other object. And, and when it's in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And now I can move on to show you what the Bing Maps is like. So I'm going to highlight my data and I'm going to go to Bing Maps and this object pops up here. And I, it brings up a little thing says welcome to Bing Maps and it tells you to select your data and then click on this location item here. So I'm going to select my data which I did, click on this and notice it brings up a map and with those locations and a circle that indicates the value relative to the others in the list. So you can see Detroit is the largest, 
Richmond, Virginia down here is the smallest. And again, with as with people graphs, it's very limited to the different things I can do here. So I can change it to bird's eye view rather than the road view. I'm going to change it back to road view. We'll talk about pie chart and uh, uh, legend here in a second. And the only other thing I could do is I could change the color of the circles that are on the map. So that's really all I can do here. Now, it is very dynamic in that you can see I can enlarge it or make it smaller. But let's say I changed Richmond, Virginia here to be uh, London, UK. And I hit enter. Notice it automatically adjusted the size of the map removed Richmond, Virginia, and added the location for London. So it's nice that it is very dynamic in that sense. I'm going to go ahead and change this back to uh, Richmond, Virginia, uh, so it goes the way we had it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete this, and instead of using this total sales chart, I'm going to use the one up here that has the sales broken down by year. And again, I'll bring up Bing Maps. Same thing pops up. This object here, I'll close that. I'll have my data highlighted, and I'll click on the Show Locations. And now what it does is it presents the breakdown of the three years as a pie chart for each of the locations. Notice, though, that all the pie charts are the same size. So you really can't see or indicate what uh, any one is relative to the others. But notice when I click on any one, it gives me the location and it gives me the breakdown by year. Now when I go to the settings, here I can change it from pie chart to circles. And again, it just does it in a circle fashion rather than in a pie chart fashion. Notice the legend down in the lower left hand corner and again I can turn the legend off or turn it back on. And the only other option that I've been able to find here is that I can change the color of the legend. So if I want uh, 2014 to be this color blue, I want 2015 to be this color orange or red and 2016 to be gray here and then you can see how that changed the colors that were on my pie chart. So this is how you can use either the Bing Maps and or the People's Graph options that are available in the Add-ins group on the Insert tab in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.